So what's the point here, Connor? That Amanda's somehow responsible for an asshole being an asshole? The point, Joe, is that the whole innocent mischief maker act is bullshit. That she either doesn't understand, or worse, doesn't care, how her actions affect the people caught in her wake, just as long as in the end she gets what she wants. Now hold on just a minute. It's all right, Joe. I don't need you to defend me. I don't need anyone to defend me. Do I regret some of the decisions I've made in my life? Absolutely, without question. But if you think I'm going to apologize for living, for surviving, then it's a good thing you're immortal because you've got one hell of a wait ahead of you. I'm not looking for apologies, Amanda. You accused me of hypocrisy. I'm just pointing out how black the pot is. If you think dragging me through the mud is going to make you any cleaner, think again, darling. We all know only one McLeod reigns atop the moral high ground, and you voodooed his brain and fired him off like a missile to do your dirty work. I fully admit I have plenty of mud and blood on my hands. First sensible thing you've said all day. But at least I try to live my life with some sense of honor. Oh, and who gets to decide what's so honorable? You? No. I mean, it's honor. It, honor is honor. It is what it is. Huh? Is what it is. Hmm. That's it in a nutshell, isn't it? We all have to follow the rules as you see them, and anyone who doesn't fall in line is out of line. They're not just my rules. We're talking basic principles of decency, respect. Really? So, just so I'm clear, it wasn't decent when I tried to steal a diamond from a masochistic little Napoleon who stole it in the first place, but it was decent for you to support him in the theft of a whole country and murder its people? Uh, that's not... that's not even remotely the same thing. You're right. At least with my indecency, nobody got hurt. Except when you shot me, of course. I saved you. For some insane reason, I was trying to help you. <laughs> if you really wanted to help me, you would have just let me do my thing and walk out of that camp free and clear. But you couldn't, could you? Because the very idea of stealing from your superior, no matter how truly inferior, got your moral blood boiling, didn't it? And it feels so good to be so right, doesn't it? <sighs> it must be a McLeod thing. I leave the moral judgments to Duncan. Come on. You're telling me you didn't feel just a tingle of righteous satisfaction shooting me in the chest? Fine. I'll admit it. It felt good to shoot you. And you'd been waiting 200 years to do it, hadn't you? You give yourself too much credit, Amanda. I don't think about you that much. Oh, don't try to con a con, darling. You've had it out for me ever since those stupid games. You poisoned us! So what? You were back on your feet in a day. No harm done. You're just mad because you didn't get what you wanted. And what's that? The chance to rub your superiority into the collective face of that clan you hated so much. You think I took that away from you, and you've branded me as some immoral meddler ever since, never bothering to look at yourself in the mirror. How black's that kettle look now? Hmm. Think you've got me all figured out, do you? Isn't that the game here, darling? So what? We're both dirty. Fine. So what's the point? The point is, you're both idiots. Excuse me? I think I liked you better when you just watched. Oh, I've been watching and listening. And for all this healthy introspection, neither of you seems willing to admit what this friction has really been all about. <laughs> Which is? Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why they call you watchers, because your hearing obviously sucks. 
You've been going guns blazing at Connor ever since he's been back. And why? Because you want to protect Duncan. And you've been holding a grudge against Amanda since day one for the very same reason. Well now, who knew my charms were so formidable? Charms, not what I'd call it. Okay, um, how about witchcraft then? Since I'm so consistently nefarious, or, or maybe you're thinking of another W word? Are you denying using men to get what you want? Oh, God, no. Are you kidding? How the hell do you think I've survived this long? <laughs> what about you, though? How have you gotten through these past 400-plus years, hmm? Was it your wits? Or maybe your skill with a blade? Or perhaps your mighty Scottish strength? You weaponize your advantages and pat yourself on the back, but rake me over the coals for doing the same thing. I don't set out to seduce people into getting what I want. Why would you? No one probably batted an eye when you went to buy a little plot of land or a chateau, never demanded your husband's permission to own property or travel the country, never barred you from even attending a town hall, much less hold an office. You had it rough. Congratulations. Join the club. But you're an immortal. You can do or be anything that you want. Oh, sure. It's just that easy. Here we are again. As it is for you, so must it be for all. You want to live alone, isolate yourself, live your own life? No problem, it's your choice. For a thousand years, I've had to work my ass off for self-sufficiency, for independence, and all the while being called a whore for it. It's all right. Most men have never walked a mile in our heels. I get it. It's not their fault, they just don't know any better. But there have been a few who've seen past all the and helped me believe that someone might actually see me as a person, someone to love, someone to teach. You've known two of the best of them. <laughs> he reminds me of that old Spanish peacock sometimes, Duncan does. They both tend to see the best in people. It amazes me, really. It's a skill I, I never quite mastered. <sighs> you and me both. Stubborn, judgmental, manipulative, and fiercely loyal to a fault. Under different circumstances, I might say a match made in heaven. I will cut you, Joe. I never had this much trouble when Jack was watching me. I better not find all this in a chronicle somewhere a few hundred years from now. How about a round on me? A toast to finding common ground. I suppose I could drink to that. Mm, I've got a better idea. You've got to be kidding. Mm, you want to roll it, darling. Get the full flavor. Uh, this isn't my first time, you know. Oh, I bet you say that to all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> if this is your doing, I think I'm teaching you too well. <laughs> I don't have the imagination of conjuring something like this. Oh, Duncan, Mythos, come join the party. Will, this should be fun.